Welcome to Foundation Friday. The dedication and covenant of silent unity was signed on December 7, 1892 by Charles and Myrtle Film, founders of the Unity Movement. It was unlikely when they signed this covenant that they had any idea how far-reaching unity would be as it evolved into the church we know and love today. We invite you to join us as we explore and share some of the original ideas, teachings, and writings of the men and women who created the foundation of the Unity Church. Hi, thank you for joining us today here at Unity Church of El Cajon. Today for our Foundation Friday project, we are continuing doing backstories of some of the most known and early writers and great thinkers of the Unity Movement. Today, we are looking at James Dillett Freeman. He was born March 20th, 1912, and he died April 9th in 2003. His actual name on his Delaware birth certificate tells us was Abraham Friedman, and he started using James very early on. Uh, you do know the works of James Dillard Freeman. Some of his most known poems are used in unity services today, even now. His father, Jacob Freeman, was a Jewish man who emigrated from Eastern Europe in 1896. His mother, Sarah Alberson, was born in New Jersey in 1890. In the mid-1920s, Sarah, James, and his sister, Rose, moved to Kansas City, Missouri, where James eventually went to work at the Unity School as a clerk. Sometime after 1958, James began using the pen name James Dillard Freeman. Freeman was sometimes referred to as the poet laureate to the moon because his poems were twice brought to the moon, a distinction he shares with no other author. His 1941 prayer for protection, the one most unity services end with every week, was taken aboard Apollo 11 in Ju July 1969 by the pilot Buzz Aldrin and a microfilm of Freeman's 1947 poem, I Am There, was left on the moon by James Irwin on Apollo 15. Freeman received the inspiration to write I Am There during the cancer treatment and subsequent death of his first wife. He married her in October of 1934, and that was his first wife, Lucy Catherine Gill Wee. She died in September of 1948. Freeman's poems include Blessings for a Marriage and The Traveler. The later poem was one of the ones he had written after one of his friends died. Freeman's second wife was Valerie Mae Ray, and they called her Billy. They got married in 1951. She experienced Alzheimer's disease for 10 years before passing in 19. 93. James wrote many moving articles about her battles with the illness. He and Valerie had no children. James married Virginia Love after his second wife's passing, and they visited Oahu. Oh, I, I, uh, they visited Hawaii. I can't name the town soon after, enjoying chocolate chip cookies fresh from the oven. They enjoyed each other's company until James died. So that's a little of the background story of James Dillard Freeman. He wrote so many wonderful 
moving poems that we use even today. And his poetry, like so many wonderful things, was greatly impacted and created by the losses and challenges he faced in his life. We hope you have enjoyed the story of James Stillett Freeman on this Foundation Friday. Namaste. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon. Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments, which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.